Okay, I just wanted to give you some feedback on lab one because these are the types of things that I'm looking for in any of our labs. First of all, anytime you're asked to make a calculation, you need to show your work. So for example, in number three, where you calculated your frequency, it was one over T, you just needed to show me how you calculated it and then give me the answer with the proper units. Also, you needed to um, do the same thing for angular frequency which is in radians per second, and I even gave you the units and everything. So there really was no, no reason for you to not be able to do that. Also, you made a graph, and you should have seen that the, the points really pretty much fit some kind of sinusoidal graph. And based on that, you had three choices to describe the motion. So you needed to tell me that the sinusoidal graph indicated that the velocity was changing and it was non-uniform or non-constant acceleration. So based on the shape, I even gave you the criteria. You just needed to pick one of them and use that as the criteria. You needed to tell me why you decided that. And then in um, later on, you were going to write the equation. And most of you figured out the amplitude just fine. And when you write an equation, a function, you should have two variables. You should have something for y and something for x. And in this case, the position x was equal to whatever you found for the um, amplitude, 0.26, times sine of whatever you had found for the angular frequency. But a lot of you just wrote down 3.14 radians per second from my example, but you had just found the angular frequency uh, in your lab for this particular oscillator. So you need to use that one, not, not mine, but yours, at times t. So I was just looking for that function, and this is something that you'll have to be able to do on the exam as well, so make sure you understand it. And then finally, you just needed to use your Vmax equations, show me the calculations using your numbers, and include the units. Velocity is measured in meters per second, and acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. So in order to get full credit, instead of half credit, you need to make sure you show your work and that you showed your units.